Smearing Jill the Plumber, that's the subject of tonight's Talking Points memo. Now, a few days ago, Joe Wurzelbacher was just another guy from Ohio who worked in the plumbing business, and then Barack Obama approached him while walking a Toledo neighborhood. It became the encounter heard round the world. Your new tax plan is going to tax me more, isn't it? It's not that I want to punish your success. I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success, too. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. Oh, spread the wealth around. Those four words did more to illuminate where Obama's economic thinking will take America than all of the McCain town halls and press statements. The Obama camp was caught totally off guard by the outpouring of public support for the common sense of plain spoken Joe. By helping Americans realize that there is nothing fair about Obama's tax plans, he put Obama on the defensive big time. He exposed the lie that Obama's tax plan only affects the wealthiest Americans. And now the race is neck and neck again. As for John McCain, he quickly realized that Joe's message was resonating and he referenced his story several times during the final presidential debate. This is when the Obama campaign and their boosters in the media sprang into action. Joe, a working class American who wasn't buying into Barack Utopia, had to be taken down and fast. And it wasn't just the left wing bloggers who rifled through tax records and made calls to the plumbers union. NBC President Jeff Zucker unleashed the full force of his network to stop this Joe-mentum. Bloomberg News is reporting that uh, Joe the Plumber owes more than $1,000 in back taxes. There's a report that he doesn't have the proper license. And anyway, the story gets better. It turns out America's most famous plumber isn't really a plumber. Reporters today uncovered that Joe Wurzelbacher doesn't have a plumbing license in Ohio. Oh, great investigative reporting. Well, NBC had a satellite truck parked outside Joe the Plumber's house yesterday. I have a question. Did it ever, a single day, did it ever send a truck and a reporter to the still defiant terrorist Bill Ayers house? Has NBC ever really dug into the nature of Obama's relationship with ACORN, now the subject of an FBI investigation in 12 states? You know the answer, N-O, no. But the Peacock does believe its resources are widely used against one American voter who dared to question their messiah. Look, the press is supposed to hold politicians accountable on behalf of the people. Yet today's media are doing the heavy lifting for Team Obama with his slash and smear campaign against people like Joe. Is this type of bullying and intimidation what Americans can expect from an Obama administration in response to serious criticism? Will the media closest to the people, talk radio and the blogosphere, be the next targets? God help us.